Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to package and export your game from Unreal Engine 4 so you can then distribute your games to your friends, your family, onto Steam, Itch.io, anywhere. So you can just export your game and send it out to anyone you want and sell it and stuff like that if you want to. So I'm just going to be doing it in the uh, third person example map. I've also put a light in here just so I have more lighting to, that needs to be rebuilt. But obviously you're going to have your game built and ready to export. So what we're going to want to do before exporting is build everything here. Now you can just press build, but that can A, take a while and B, also require quite a lot of your RAM and stuff like that all at once. So it's better to sometimes just go down through these. But before we get to that, we're just going to change some settings. Let's go to edit and project settings. And once that's loaded up, we're going to go down here to packaging. And the build here, we're going to leave if project has code or running in the old editor. And for the build configuration, I, I normally put mine as shipping, but you can put it as to whatever you want. So development is obviously for a development build of your game. So if you're exporting it, but still testing purposes, then that would be development. Also, if you want to be able to use a console command in your game, then it would have to be development. And development client is obviously for a multiplayer game. And then shipping is what most games are. So that's the fully fledged finished game, no console command, no anything like that, which is what I'm going to be doing. And then obviously shipping client again, multiplayer. And then stage direction, we don't need to do anything there. Directory, sorry, in a full rebuild, it's basically if you just want to rebuild the game, uh, if you want to do the building process as you go to export it. But again, I find it easier to just do it before, especially if you have a kind of like a low end PC like I do. So for distribution, again, this is if you're exporting it to distribute to people rather than just give to your friends or something. So I'm gonna tick that as well. And then we're gonna leave all this part the same in the packaging. But then we're gonna hit this little arrow here to show advanced, scroll down. Obviously there's different languages there, but that's fine. And then what I like to do is tick the cook only maps there, which just makes the light building the lighting a lot quicker and a lot easier and it doesn't really affect what it looks like at all and it also helps to get rid of some errors because sometimes if you're building it you'll you'll do it for ages and it will just come out as an error so this helps a lot and then you also want to add the maps you want to actually include in the package build here so if you just go here and then press the plus to add elements hit the three arrows and then you just find where your map is saved so if I, mine is here so it'll be the third person example map dot umap, but obviously you find the maps you have created and you just add them all in this array here, meaning that these will then be in the package build. So then we'll just leave all of this the same as well. You can show advanced, but we don't need to change any of this. And then in the maps and mode as well, you're gonna want to make sure that the default maps are set up perfectly. So obviously I haven't got any more maps, so I can't change them. But if you say have a, uh, a main menu map, you want to change that here to be the main menu map so that when the game loads up, that is the map that is played. But basically, whichever map you want the, to first load in when you load up the game, that's what you put there. The editor startup map is obviously just for when you load up the editor, what map is there. And obviously you should have changed everything else in here while you're making the game. So then if we go down to supported platforms, you can tick which you can tick and decide which platform you want to build your game for. So I'm just gonna do for just Windows for the moment for this example. Obviously it doesn't matter, you just choose which one you want. And then the target hardware, you just this is what you want, so desktop and console for me, and the maximum quality. And if we scroll all the way down to platforms, and then you can go through all of these to change out the settings you want, but obviously I'm just doing it for Windows. So I'll go down to Windows here, and you just change out what you want, so you can, so this is where you can make your own custom images for the editor splash, game splash, and the game icon, and all that good stuff. And if you want a video on how to make perfect art for these, or just how to make art for them and then put them in, I will show you. I can do a tutorial on that if you want. Just leave a comment down below if you'd like to see that. But just a quick thing before is just make sure that the icon is a .ico file which you can just convert online. But yeah, if you want a proper in-depth tutorial on how to do this, then let me know. So yeah, just go through these settings, check, see what you need to change. I don't need to change anything. So that should be all the settings done. So we just hit the X there. And instead of pressing build, you can do that, but I'm just going to press the drop down menu there and then change the lighting quality from preview to whatever you want. Preview is, can be good for little small indie games. I'm just going to change mine to medium and then you go down and just press build lighting only. And this can take any amount of time depending on how big your game is. It can either be really quick or it can take a while depending on the size of your game, how much lighting you have 
and how good your system is as well. So as I only have one light in, it shouldn't take too long and then I'll get back to you once it's done. There we go, it's now finished building the lighting. So again, that really didn't take too long but because I've only got one light. And so when you do this, that does mean that you now don't have the preview text on the floor where the shadows, because before building lighting, you would have the preview text there, but now we don't. And as you can see as well, in the top left of the screen up here, it no longer says lighting needs to be rebuilt. So now you can just go down the list here and build everything that needs to be built. So obviously then go to reflection captures, static visibility, all this until you get finished. So I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. And obviously some of them, you don't, I don't have any in here, so it doesn't need to build anything. But it's always good to just do it anyway, even if you think you haven't got any, just because, just in case you have and it needs to be built. So you just go down, build all those. And that is now me done with the building. So once you've finished building and you've double checked the settings to make sure that's everything you want, we're gonna go up to file here then package project and go down to the platform you want it to be on. So I want mine to be Windows and then you can obviously pick Windows 32-bit or 64-bit. And nowadays most PCs come with Windows 64-bit but some still have 32-bit. So if you want to make sure that everyone can play it, go for 32. But most games and most modern PCs are in 64-bit. So I'm gonna do that. So just left click there and it should export it and then you'll pick where you want it to go. So I'm just gonna create a new folder in here. Call it the name of your game. So I'll just call it game and then packaged. It's just what I like to call it just so I know what's what. I'm gonna select folder and as you can see, it's now packaging the project for Windows 64-bit down here. So again, this shouldn't take too long. For most games, it doesn't take long either but for me especially shouldn't just because of what it is. But the first time packaging, it normally takes longer and then after that, like if you update the game and you need to package it again, it usually does it a lot quicker then. So like in one of my uh, Game Jam games, the first time it took about 10 minutes and then after that it did it all within a minute every time. So the first time doing everything will just take longer as it is the first time doing it. So I'll be back with you again once this is finished packaging. So there we go, it's now finished packaging the game. And so if we now go into our folder, we can find this and then open it to see how how it looks. So mine is here. So then if I go into game packaged, Windows no editor, and here it is down here. Open this up and we should be able to play our game. Now obviously before you package it, you're gonna want to thoroughly test through it to make sure that it is exactly how you want it to be there's no bugs, nothing like that. It's just perfect for you. And so here we are, we're now in the package game and this looks perfect. So obviously it's not really a game because I haven't done the thing, but we now have our own package game and it all works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. I've got to do everything I wanted to do. We went through, we built everything we needed, such as the lighting and all that. We changed the project settings. You made sure to test through it thoroughly, fix all the bugs you needed to fix. And then we managed to package it for the supported platforms we wanted. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.